all for one. SpaceX has taken yet another major step forward, showing the world they are fully prepared to launch a Starship. But there's still one major obstacle, the FAA. Its regulations continue to delay the flight of this giant rocket, leaving many disappointed. Recently, another congressman spoke out, criticizing the FAA's restrictions and voicing strong support for SpaceX. Even former President Donald Trump, now a candidate in the upcoming presidential election, has weighed in on the issue. Could this signal the beginning of the end for the FAA's tight grip? Meanwhile, Rocket Lab and Intuitive Machines have made important strides of their own in the space industry. There's plenty of exciting news to cover today, so let's dive into all this on today's episode of Great SpaceX. You probably still remember the awe-inspiring moment when Super Heavy Booster 12 was lifted to an unprecedented height by the chopsticks. It was a critical test that underscored SpaceX's determination to catch the booster during the next flight. Following that step, Starship 30 arrived at the launch pad. After more than three months of anticipation, the moment we've all been waiting for finally came. S-30 was lifted and fully stacked on B-12, marking the first combination of hardware for Flight 5. Before this, B-12 had already been installed with the hot staging ring after being placed on the orbital launch mount. SpaceX reaffirmed its readiness, declaring, Starship stacked for Flight 5 and ready for launch. In fact, they originally announced readiness back in August, after each stage had successfully completed its tests and other crucial preparations. The first fully stacked test was conducted on August 23rd, where SpaceX performed a propellant load test, followed by detanking to assess the efficiency of the fueling process. Afterwards, SpaceX stated, propellant load test and pre-flight checkouts complete ahead of Flight 5. Elon Musk echoed this sentiment, reposting with the message, Starship is ready to fly. However, SpaceX emphasized that the launch is still pending regulatory approval from the FAA. These updates once again highlight the frustration with the FAA's delays, which are hindering not only SpaceX's progress, but also the advancement of U.S. aerospace as a whole, opening the door for other nations to close the gap. Given the current situation, it seems unlikely that the FAA will expedite its decision. The growing criticism against the FAA is louder than ever, even more intense than in previous delays. Amid this, former president and 2024 presidential candidate Donald Trump made a strong statement on the matter. And I'll talk to Elon. Elon, get those rocket ships going because we want to reach Mars before the end of my term. We want to do it. And we want to have also great military protection in space because that's where it's going to be at. This tweet once again highlights SpaceX's critical role in space exploration, particularly in colonizing Mars and enhancing space security. While it's uncertain whether Trump will win the election, he has stated that the goal of colonizing Mars could be achieved within his term by 2028. This aligns with Elon Musk's own recent predictions for Mars colonization. In response to Trump's statement, Elon Musk simply retweeted, Awesome. A few days later on the House floor, California Congressman Kevin Kiley shared his thoughts, first congratulating SpaceX and Elon Musk on the success of the Polaris Dawn spacewalk mission. He noted that this groundbreaking mission at an unprecedented altitude has opened new possibilities for the aerospace industry while bolstering the positions of both SpaceX and the United States. Kylie went on to criticize the FAA's delays with Starship and the recent fine imposed on SpaceX for Falcon 9 operations. He said, there simply should not be delays related to paperwork or bureaucracy. The, the company is also vital to U.S. leadership around the world uh, when it comes to space and is vital to our national security. It is inexplicable that the FAA is trying to hold back its progress with frivolous fines and delays. Musk quickly responded with a simple, appreciate it. Jared Isaacman, leader of the Polaris Dawn mission, also chimed in, reposting Kylie's comments with his own reaction. Great to see recognition from political leaders. Regardless of your personal views or politics, Elon Musk builds companies to tackle humanity's biggest challenges. Starships aren't for a gold rush or evil riches on Mars, they're going to open the final frontier for all of humankind. If you dream of a more exciting future, cheer for SpaceX and all the visionary endeavors just like it. Given Isaacman's close ties with SpaceX, his support is understandable. He has long advocated for accelerating Starship launches and has consistently backed SpaceX's goals. Now more than ever, opposition to the FAA's stance on SpaceX is intensifying. There is a growing sense of unity with the shared goal of maintaining the U.S.'s leadership in aerospace. 
as well as outpacing competitors like China. Any organization that stands in the way of this progress faces two choices, reform or risk being left behind. What path will the FAA choose? Will they decide their fate or will others decide for them? For now, SpaceX has time to appeal the FAA's fine on Falcon 9, and regarding Starship, the next flight, Flight 5, is slated for November. Despite the challenges, the support and preparations for SpaceX remain strong. Comment, let SpaceX fly to show your support for SpaceX and Starship. Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel to keep following SpaceX's incredible journey, especially the ongoing issues between SpaceX and the FAA. Next, we have an update on Rocket Lab's latest Electron mission. On September 20th at 7.01 p.m. EDT, an Electron rocket successfully launched from Rocket Lab's Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand. This mission was dedicated to sending the second satellite for the French startup Canis, part of its Internet of Things network. The mission, titled Canis Killed the Radio T-Star, placed the satellite into a sun-synchronous orbit at an altitude of 643 kilometers. This marks the second of five launches that Canis secured from Rocket Lab in 2021, with the first taking place in June. Three more launches are scheduled to follow. Canis CEO Alexander Alexandre Tisserand expressed confidence in the company's progress, stating that the full constellation expected to be operational by mid-2025 will enable customers to gather asset tracking and other data with a latency of just 15 to 20 minutes. Tisserand emphasized that this low latency will cover 90 to 95 percent of use cases, and the company aims to reach profitability within three years. For Rocket Lab, this mission marks their 11th launch in 2023, a new record for the company. Since their inaugural launch in 2017, Rocket Lab has steadily increased its launch cadence, breaking last year's record of 10 launches. With three months remaining in the year, Rocket Lab has the potential to extend this new milestone even further. It's clear that Rocket Lab is following a trajectory similar to SpaceX. Just recently, SpaceX matched last year's record with 91 launches. Although the scale of operations differs, both companies have proven to be most active in the orbital launch industry. Their continued success places them well ahead of other giants like Blue Origin and United Launch Alliance. We look forward to seeing what these companies achieve next. Wrapping up the Rocket Lab update, let's turn to the latest news from Intuitive Machines and their significant new lunar contract. On September 17th, NASA announced that Intuitive Machines has secured a 4.8 billion US dollar contract to provide communications and navigations services on the moon, supporting the Artemis Lunar Exploration Program. The company will play a key role in bolstering NASA's near space network, which currently facilitates communications for missions in Earth orbit and cislunar space. The contract, officially titled Subcategory 2.2 GEO to Cislunar Relay Services, represents a major step forward for lunar exploration. The contract is an indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity agreement, beginning with a five-year base period starting October 1st, with an option for an additional five years. While NASA has not disclosed the initial amount allocated under the contract, the first task order focuses on progressive validation of lunar relay capabilities and services. These services will be critical for robotic and crewed lunar missions, including rovers and other spacecraft under the Artemis program. NASA noted that these new capabilities will help reduce the strain on the Deep Space Network, which has been stretched thin by supporting deep space missions and, more recently, the Artemis I mission in 2022. The lunar relay services provided by Intuitive Machines will help ensure smoother communication for upcoming missions. Steve Altimus, CEO of Intuitive Machines, commented, This contract marks a pivotal moment in our leadership in space communications and navigation. We're excited to partner with NASA to support the Artemis campaign and efforts to expand the lunar economy. Despite the excitement, NASA and Intuitive Machines have not yet disclosed specific details on how these services will be implemented, other than the potential use of satellites in lunar orbit. It's also unclear how many other companies completed, I'm sorry, competed for this contract. While the expectations are high, there's always uncertainty surrounding major NASA projects, especially in the preparation and operational phases. However, Intuitive Machines have proven itself to be a leader in recent lunar efforts. We'll be watching closely to see how they contribute to bringing humans back to the moon in the years to come. 
Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.